Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving back into one of my favorite craft distilleries. That's right, it's Wilderness Trail Night again on Bourbon Bill. So, I will link it above. I did a Best of Wilderness Trail video a while back. Believe me, if you've been sleeping on a Wilderness Trail, stop it. You're only hurting yourself. Go find one, especially one of the cash strengths. That's where they really shine. But tonight, a very special Does Aging Help Wilderness Trail video. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. So this bottle here of their Cash Strength Rye should look familiar to you if you're a fan of the channel and you subscribed and watched my previous Wilderness Trail video. Here it is. This is a store pick. I'll refresh your memory if you didn't watch that video. This is a 105 proof Cash Strength Wilderness Trail Rye aged 4 years and 9 months in a number 4 char barrel. And the yeast strain here is Firm Pro 1. The Rick House, for those that care, AN13D4. Now, as you can see, I've been enjoying this one. Half empty. Love me so. Uh, this is one of the best ryes. Um, I'm going to do a rye video for 2022, and I this could upset some more expensive bottles. Just going to put that out there. So, four years and nine months, 105 proof. Now, I was recently traveling for work, and I came across this bad boy on the shelf. What's that? It's Wilderness Trail Rye Family Reserve Cash Strength with the new label. I think they've done away with, with the green, and they've gone with this, like, I don't know, pale blue metallic with green lettering for rye whiskey. So I said to myself, well, I have one, you know, but... This was sitting in a total wine in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. So if you happen to be one of my viewers from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and you wander on into the total wine, they might still have some of this there. And at total wines, they let you sample it. So I took a sample and I said, son of a bitch, I'm going to have to buy one of these because it was that good. All right. So what else, what else caught my eye about this bottle? Let me show you. It is 107. 0.77 proof compute compute 53.88 percent alcohol by volume so this is almost 108 proof a little a little bit higher you know okay but over here on the side the good facts age five years and four months so it's in that five year range now it's not quite a full year older than that one but I have not seen any other five-year cash strength picks from Wilderness Trail. So I was very intrigued over five-year pick for this. I was 100% on it. Number four char barrel. Love that. But most importantly here, yeast strain 921. Now, for those that are not aware, there's like four yeast strains on Wilderness Trail. But all of the store picks I have literally not from the same store, not even from the same state. They're all Firm Pro 1. So I was thinking, does Wilderness Trail even really put out anything else? But here we have Yeast Strain 921. So, coupled with the older age and the different Yeast Strain, I had to snag it. Um, as you can see, it's not a fresh crack here on this either. All these are non-chill filtered. Both are sweet mash. Both are cast strength. So, Wilderness Trail does have that low barrel entry proof. Uh, I'm not sure quite what it is. 105 to 100, somewhere in that in that range, I believe, uh, is, what, is what they put their stuff into the barrel at. Uh, this one here is a bottle number 36 of 187, if you cared. And the other one was 22 of 193. So... A little bit older, they, they lost a few bottles out of that barrel. That kind of checks out. Now, my lovely wife poured these blind for me. She did the old black and gold here for me. So we don't know which is which. 
Um, and I'm just going to go through them, give you some tasting notes, see which one I prefer. So let's get started. The black Glencairn here will give it a swirl and a quick nosing. Oh, man. Wilderness Trail just has this, like, it. I want to say earthy, but that doesn't sound good to me when I say it. But it kind of is just this delicious baked bread, like, earthy note that is unique. I've only ever gotten it on a Wilderness Trail bourbon, and it is delicious. It's like the most delicious baked bread you could ever have. I get some caramel. I want to say some like baker's chocolate. Not sweet. Wilderness Trail generally does not come off that sweet on the palate or the nose. Uh, but it is a delicious scent. Yeah, just like a fresh piece of bread out of the oven. Like your wife just made that. Let's take a sip. Gosh, it's delicious. It's just caramel, the rye spice, that beautiful baked bread note, desserty bread, like a sweet bread. It's it's so good. Not a hint of youth notes. I mean, keep in mind, even five years isn't that old of a bourbon, but I don't know which one that is, but it's phenomenal. If you gave that to me and you didn't tell me it was a rye, I don't know that I would pick out that it actually is a rye. So... If you like a very rye rye, probably not for you. Uh, this is very much a bourbon drinker's rye. All right, the gold. Let's take a sniff. A very similar nose. Maybe a hint of rye though in this one. I have to like go back to back and forth here. They do smell a bit different. This one's got more rye spice to it. And this one, in comparison, has almost like a like a mesquite smell to it now. Um, that wasn't there originally, but that's kind of the difference. This has a little bit more of like a baked meat going on, and this one has more of the rye spice. Let's take a sip of this one. Oh, wow. Wow, I get, a, I get the, the whew. That one's thicker. Um burst of that rye spice I get that sweet bread note I even I get tons of caramel I get a little bit of oak on that one and then another round of rye spice boy that's phenomenal um, listen both of these are way better than they should be uh, for the age and the price you're gonna pay I think this one was like 65 this one was like 75 so they're not necessarily super cheap but um, they're putting out a top quality product here. Uh, I will say, I'm I'm a little bit torn here which one I like better. They both have good qualities. I'm going to have to go back and forth off camera and come back to you with uh, my rankings. Alright, and we're back. So, we are splitting hairs here, I will say. Both of these A-plus ratings, if you're wondering from Bourbon Bill. Fantastic rise. Probably some of the best rise I've had. We'll see how it ends up in my best rise of 2022. So, this was very close. I'll give the win to the Gold Glen Cairn tonight. Um, and really, they were very similar. They had notes of caramel, just delicious baked sweet bread, um, the rye spice coming through. Now, the reason I picked Gold was because it was a little more complex, and it felt just a tad thicker on the mouthfeel. So... It had the rye spice, you know, the bready note. Then a boom, another wave of rye spice. Longer finish, and it was a little bit thicker on the mouthfeel. So ultimately, a little bit more complex. Fantastic. That one tonight. Uh, the Black Glen Cairn, and this one was a little bit sweeter, actually, as well. Got the old trusty answer key here. So our winner tonight in the gold was, well, the five-year, four-month pick at a hundred and nearly 108 proof so I think I think age is helping these uh, but they were splitting hairs if you see a like a four-year cash strength rye pick it up you will not be disappointed um, I cannot wait to see what wilderness trail does 
Um, I read somewhere that they want to see their ideal cash strengths be in the six to eight year range, ideally, uh, once they're all mature. They just started releasing their eight year bourbon this year, but they cut it to 100 proof, which I'm not, not, not a fan of that. I want to see that at cask. Um, so in the, in the coming years, we're going to see higher and higher age statements on the Wilderness Trail casks, which I'm really excited about. These things are fantastic with no youth notes at four to five years old. They're going to be hitters at six to eight, guaranteed. Now, piece of news, they were recently bought by uh, Campari, which owns Wild Turkey. So that, how that is going to affect them is unknown. I really hope they leave them alone and they keep... Killing, killing it like they are. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Thank you and have a great evening, everybody.